Hi, welcome to Fingernail Fixer video. For today's video, we are going to take a look at Jimmy Gel. I am playing around with it for the blog. It is a product from Light Elegance. I have prepared the nail with a manicure doing cuticle work and shaping, and then applied Famous Names Boost. For the Jimmy Gel, I'm going to apply a nice thin layer and do not cure this thin layer. So apply a nice thin layer of the Jimmy Gel, making sure to keep it away from the skin. It will kind of smooth itself towards the skin following where the boost is. And then come in with some Jimmy Gel on the brush and just gently dot a little bit of it down your center line. And we're gonna actually take the time to watch it smooth itself out. Normally in the salon, you wouldn't take the time to watch it smooth itself out. Now the reason I have applied that boost before the Jimmy Gel is so that I didn't have to buff the nails. If you're going to apply the Jimmy Gel according to the light elegance directions, you do need to buff that natural nail. And I personally don't want to buff the natural nail, so I have used the Boost. But I wanted to try the Jimmy Gel product, so since I was curious about the Jimmy Gel product, I decided to use the Boost underneath to eliminate that buffing step. What I'm really excited about on the Jimmy Gel product is you can see, see these shine lines smoothing themselves out as the Jimmy Gel just completely self-levels itself. It's doing all the work for you. It just smooths and smooths and smooths. Now in the salon, you would just go ahead and be applying it to the other four nails while it does its thing. And I'm gonna pop that nail into the lamp and just cure it for the 10 seconds so that it doesn't move while we play on the second nail. And so I have done a layer of Boost Base, cured it, a layer of Boost, cured it, and now I'm playing with Jimmy Gel on top of those cured layers. Let's do another finger so that you can see how I'm playing with the Jimmy Gel. Look how it just created that nice little arch all by itself. I didn't have to sculpt that arch in. It just created it all by its little self. It's just so cool, so much fun. And I'm basically using the technique that I learned in the Light Elegance University that I'm taking, if you've read about that on my blog. So we're basically just applying that nice thin layer of the Jimmy Gel brushing it on and not curing it. And this nail's pretty short, so I'm kind of sealing it side to side instead of from the front. And then I'm gonna turn this nail sideways so that you can see how I'm just kind of leaving little dollops down the middle of the gel. And then we can, I'm going to add a little bit more down the middle because those are kind of flowing to the side since we turn the nail sideways. And see how it just starts leveling itself out and doing its own little thing like magic. In the salon, we would start then moving from nail to nail to nail. And by the time you get to the fourth nail, the other nails have really already done their thing. The trick is just kind of having the client hold their hands resting on your hand so that those nails stay level and not stick their fingers up in the air so that the nails are running back towards the proximal nail fold. And look how it just is doing its thing. It's just so much fun. I'm having so much fun playing with this product. And as you can read on the blog, it just has been really intriguing to play with it. And there is not a lot of heat spike to it. And I've definitely noticed on my clients that have the more delicate nails that I'm using the boost underneath, there's absolutely no heat spike or exothermic reaction when I'm doing it over the top of the boost. So if you have someone with delicate nails, 
Definitely doing it over the top of Boost eliminates that exotherm and the buffing. And those other nails that I just snuck in from the top were the finished nails from the other hand. They're just so smooth. They've already got that arch built in. And so when I come in and do that gel polish layer over the top, they've already got that little built-in enhancement and we're ready to go. Just kind of removing that little bit of excess gel because I got a little bit too much since I went in and did the little dollops a second time to kind of center them. But look how it just smoothed itself out. It's just the craziest, coolest, so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this product testing, playing experience with me for Light Elegance Jimmy Gel. If you want to see more product testing and playing around and tutorial videos, definitely hit subscribe, hop over to the blog or any of my social media. I'd love to see you there. Thanks for taking the time to join me.